isn't the right call. Because I'm going to bang on in a second. Well, I'm a Republican, and I fucking hate the idea of the royal family. I always have, ever since I was young. And um, just particularly this year, with the, you know, the, the I was going to sell tents for charity, the charities that are, you know, that are Republican charities. I've also been to realise that when I say Republican, for a lot of, because this gets broadcast on the web, by Republican I mean like anti-monarchist. I don't mean Republican as in Democrat. I, mean, I fucking hate the Republican Party in America. I mean Republican in the sense that I, I object really, really strongly since I was a very young man to, to being in a country that has a monarchy. I find it astonishing that that our country, like England or Great Britain, is held up as an idea of, like, of um, a modern democracy. And, and we still have this fucking idiot William and Kate show, you know, it's that, that it's that, it disheartens me so much that um, this has nothing to do with where we are, I mean, this is Spain, but in some ways it's kind of similar because you have a, a king and, and stuff, it's like, it's fucking mental, like why? It's not up to me, fucking hell, I'm 53, I'm not going to go out and like, like, you know, the queen should die, of course the fucking queen should die, but they should all... Well, they should all live long lives, but they shouldn't really be a royal family. There's, you know, it's absurd. The whole we're flying over today. There's like a, I'm just looking through the gap between the seats, and there's like a, the in-house flight magazine had William and Kate like grinning back at me. I thought like they they've done fucking nothing. It's like it's absurd. Like my country is obsessed with celebrities, which. It's bad enough. I mean, it, it, it's driven me mental. Like, my adult life has been kind of like fighting. I still feel the same as when I was like 15 years old. But why punk happened? You think like, it's just shit, you know? Like the the Silver Jubilee was. Um, we played in a field, you know, and it was like they wouldn't allow God Save the Queen to be played in Radio One. It was like we thought. Ah, something's gonna happen you think like 25 years later you have the same shit going on it's um it's quite disheartening actually it's, um, John Prescott was one of those people when I was growing up he was he's older than me I imagine that he would know the difference between right and wrong he became Lord Prescott last year that's so fucking disappointing because he's you know it, uh, quite honestly the reason why people take these honors is because they're so insecure I'm not insecure. There is no one in the fucking world that can give me an honour. It's impossible. There's no one in the world better than me. I'm not better than anybody else, but there's no one better than me. So how can I, like, that some, like, Kate and William, I don't know who they fucking are, and I don't care. It's like, they're just, it's junk. It really is seriously junk. And my country's been dragged into this medieval, like, obsequence to, like, fucking royalty. It drives me so, mental. With Europe, it's like... <laughs> it's got so much worse. In I don't know. How's your king and queen in Italy? It was Berlusconi, used to be. Yeah. Well, what, king and queen, yeah. Quindi non pensi che sia così difficile essere coerenti? I mean, have an idea. No, of course it's not. And also, it's always it's a fucking joke that people say, oh, well, in, people use Berlusconi as an argument for like, why the British should get rid of the monarchy because, or would end up with someone like Berlusconi. Of course, you don't, you don't have to end up with someone like Berlusconi. You don't need a fucking president. You need an elected set of people who just represent the people. It's like, it's fucking easy. Scandinavia's got it about right. You know, they don't have, well, they do actually. They've got one king and queen, but they're going to die and say. I was asked a few weeks ago, like, why we're not involved in, why we weren't involved in the Jubilee celebrations, or why we're not involved in the Olympics, why we're not, as an English band, we're not kind of like, as an old English band, we're not part of all the big celebrations. It's like, um, I would fucking stuff it up their arse if they'd said it. And yet, most people, Say, oh, I don't, you know, and then they've become Lord Prescott, or they, they all give in. They have such low, you know, it's like, how can you be bought for so little? Trust me. It really does. There's no one better than anybody else. Unless they do something that you think is really good, then reward them. If someone's going to save my life, 
I will reward them. If someone's going to like play music that I love, I will reward them by buying something. If someone's going to like give me an honour, they can stick it out their fucking ass. They have no right to give me an honour or anybody else. That's why it says citizens not subjects. 12 citizens not subjects. That's yeah. what's on my guitar. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, it's it's kind of about the um, the the dumbing down of my country, my culture, with um, how you're supposed to think it's really great that William marries Kate and that the Queen's been on the throne. You know, I was part of a punk revolution that, that celebrated God Save the Queen and thought that the whole thing was going to come tumbling down anytime soon. In 1977, the Silver Jubilee. We did a show, that was one of our very first concerts. I fucking hate royalty. I hate the idea of, well, like, of uh, any kind of like hereditary privilege. It's just, it's wrong. It's not just against, it's not just anti-democracy, it's just like inherently wrong. What upsets me is that pe some people who I've actually admired down the years get offered a, a reward by the royal family, by hereditary monarchy. And, and they take it, they become Lord or Sir or like, and you think like, they're, I honestly, like if I ever accepted it, <laughs> I'm never gonna get one, but I, I would honestly cut off my own hands before I get it, because how dare they presume that they could give me an honor. Mm -mm. I, I'm much better than them. They've never done anything. Mm -mm. They're fucking idiots. <laughs> I should be king. <laughs> or something. Right, last one. Essentially, a monarchist system allows people to believe that there are people who are better than you for no good reason and it's that's why it's absurd